Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'll show you how to recreate this Marceline from Adventure Time makeup look. She's a vampire, she doesn't have a nose, and her eyes are two black circles, so this is more so my interpretation of her if she was more human-like. I'll link down in the description box below where I got my wig and ears from. Let me know who your favorite Adventure Time character is, and please give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Now let's begin the tutorial. For Marceline's skin color, you're going to need a face paint that's a light bluish gray color. And I had to mix my face paints together, so I mixed the water activated blue, gray, and white face paint together, and that's how I came up with this color. And I prefer to use water activated face paints because they stay put on your body all night, which is important for a Halloween makeup look. If you're going to use a cream face paint or even a grease face paint, you have to make sure you set it with an eyeshadow, otherwise it's going to budge throughout the night and like go onto your clothes and onto other people if you're around other people. I went ahead and painted the prosthetic ear while I was painting the rest of my face while I had the colors mixed together. And the prosthetic ear I'm using, it just goes right over the ear. You do not have to use spirit gum or liquid latex to blend it onto your ear or to, you know, stick it to your ear. You just have to literally place it onto your ear. To highlight the face, you're going to use a sheer white eyeshadow. So you're going to highlight directly below the eyes, across the forehead, bridge of the nose, and chin. And then you're going to use a gray eyeshadow to contour the face. And you're going to contour your cheekbones, the inner corner of your eye, and nose. All the eyeshadows I'm using are from my NYX Nude to Nude Eyeshadow Palette. You do not have to contour and highlight. If you want it to look more like the Marceline from the cartoon, you can just leave your face paint and that's it. For Marceline's eyeshadow, you're going to want to use a darker gray shadow than what you used on the cheekbones and, you know, to contour and just apply that directly into the crease and along the lower lash line. And then you're going to use a black eyeshadow and apply that into the crease, just kind of mix it in with that gray eyeshadow on top of the eyelid and along the lower lash line, especially on the outer corner of the lower lash line. I chose to go with darker colors just because Marceline, you know, she plays guitar, she's like rock and roll, so I just wanted to go with the dark colors because, you know, rock and roll and also because her eyes are just big and black, they're just round circles. Not to say that all the girls then in Adventure Time have black eyeshadow, but I just imagine her with it. And then I use that black eyeshadow to fill in my brows. You can draw in a new shape if you want, but I just kind of fill it in my brows. Go ahead and do what you want, you know, in that area. Now use a black gel liner. You can even use a eyeliner pencil or a liquid liner to line your lash line. And I kind of created a little wing on the outer corner, kind of like a cat wing or a cat eye. And then I go ahead and apply plenty of mascara to my top and bottom lashes and apply very long, fake, fake eyelashes. You do not have to apply fake eyelashes if you don't want to, but I think the black eyeshadow kind of like washes out your eyelashes, so applying the fake eyelashes helps make your eyelashes pop out again. And then I use a black eyeliner pencil to line my lip line and then fill it in, not totally in, just a little bit in. And then I go ahead and use like a deep purplish red lip liner and fill in the center of my lips with that lip liner. I didn't want to make the lips all black because I thought it would look too gothic and I didn't want to make it all red because I think the red with the bluish skin kind of looks funny. So I did a mixture just of both and it kind of reminds me of the cartoon version because when she opens her mouth obviously you see the red tongue and everything but when her mouth is closed it's just kind of like a black line with two little vampire teeth. I use Mayron's red face paint to paint on the vampire bites and then I shade each vampire bite with Wolf's black face paint. That was like a tongue twister for me. Anyways with Wolf's black face paint this is going to add depth to it and then I shade around the skin area of each vampire bite with a gray face paint. It's going to help it look like it's protruding a little more. It didn't show in pictures or on video, but in person it looks like that. And then I had to paint on the teeth and I just used a white face paint to do this. I had bought some vampire teeth from Walmart and it was like the custom ones that you use these like little beads to custom fit on your teeth, but it looked horrible and I looked like a buck teeth vampire. So yeah, I didn't end up using that. I just ended up painting the teeth on. So you're all finished. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Let's see if we could get this video to at least 600 likes. That would be totally awesome. And make sure you check out my other tutorials and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.